On the 14th of October, Ukraine has celebrating the Defender of Motherland Day for the first time, which was announced by Ukrainian president and officially holiday. Last year, as a result of reaction of military aggression of Russia, annexation of Crimea and military actions in Lugansk and Donetsk regions, European mood was increased, and as a result, Ukrainians supported the refusal from Soviet symbols and holidays. Moreover, this day Ukraine celebrates the Day of Protection of the Blessed Virgin, Day of Ukrainian Cossacks and Day of Ukrainian Insurgent Army Foundation. President of Ukraine Petro Poroshenko congratulated Ukrainian soldiers in Zaporizhia and during the opening ceremony of exhibition on the title Power on Brokens in Kyiv, he encouraged the Ukrainian army to be ready for sharpening of the situation on the east of Ukraine. Netherlands will provide referendum concerning the ratification of Ukrainian-U.S. association agreement. According to a report, more than 400 signatures have been got by initiative about concerning the of such questionnaire. Earlier, Parliament of the country supported the creation of free trade area between EU and Ukraine, so activists be afraid that it could be a step of Ukraine for the way for membership in European Union, which could cost billion euros to EU citizens. 193 member states of UN organization are going to choose candidates which are presented in the list of regional groups. General Assembly has begun in the voting choosing five non-permanent members of UN Council for 2016-2017. Ukraine is defined as the only candidate of group in European and other countries. It will be chosen in case if two-thirds of UN member states vote for it. ATO forces and illegal armed groups are withdrawing mortars from the dividing line simultaneously on the east of Ukraine. It was reported by ATO General Headquarters. Spokesperson of the headquarter reported that withdrawing will be continued during two days. For now, this protest will be continued. In the one day, we should report that all weapons with caliber under 100 mm has been withdrawn from the dividing line. Then representatives of the OEC monitoring mission will join the operation and they will verify the kind of weapons which has been withdrawn and inform international community about results of the operation in Lugansk region. The previous day in the ATO zone has passed without losses. It was reported by spokesperson of presidential administration Andriy Lysenko during his traditional briefing. According to him, there were not any shell firings or flights of manless aircrafts. For the previous day, there were not any shell firing at the dividing line from the side of enemy. Also, enemy's manless aircrafts were not noticed. None Ukrainian soldier was killed or wounded. At the same time, there are a lot of explosive items in the dividing line and near the state border. Syrians and Afghans are not the first place of those who had got refugee status in Ukraine this year. It was reported by Press Officer of State Migration Service Serhiy Munko. According to him, this year 357 citizens of Afghanistan handed the appellation for getting refugee status in Ukraine and 89 citizens of Syria. Only 29 Afghanistan citizens and 35 Syria citizens had got the status. Moreover, six citizens of Russia Federation had got the refugee status and protection of Ukraine for the previous five months. In common this year, 62 Russian citizens appealed with such proposal.